Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. All right, I'm excited to share with you my thoughts on this recent 4K release from Warner Brothers as part of their WB100 Celebrating Every Storyline. In this case, it's the 1973 film directed by Robert Klaus, starring the legendary martial arts star Bruce Lee, and it's none other than Enter the Dragon on 4K Ultra HD. The 1973 film directed by Robert Klaus, starring Bruce Lee. This is arguably Bruce Lee's greatest film. It's his greatest achievement. It is a legendary film that really set the bar, really is the standard upon which every martial arts film ever since has really been compared to. This is the ultimate Bruce Lee film, and I think arguably the ultimate martial arts film. You've got everything in this movie. Of course, starting with this amazing cast of characters. Love this cover art because it features the four main characters in this film that make this story go. So you have Bruce Lee, he plays a man who's part of a Shaolin temple in Hong Kong. He's a student and a teacher in the Shaolin temple and he's being called to infiltrate the palace of Han who lives on this island fortress off the coast of Hong Kong. And so he's running a martial arts tournament, he being Han. He runs it every three years. He brings in martial art artists from across the world, around the world, to participate in this once every three year tournament. But he's also doing some shady illegal activities on this island. So Bruce Lee has been called in by the government to investigate and infiltrate and find out what's going on on Han's island. So Bruce Lee is going out there to this tournament. You also have these other two very fascinating characters that add so much to this story and really help make this movie, it just takes this movie to the next level, is the supporting characters. Starting with John Saxon, who plays Roper. You see some of his backstory as they're making their way to the island. Of course, Roper's gotten himself in a little bit of trouble with some debts from some loan sharks. So he's entering this tournament to try to win the money that he needs to get out of trouble from debt. You have Williams here, who's played by Jim Kelly in his first role. And I think it's his, his feature film debut. It says on the opening credits, introducing Jim Kelly as Williams. So, you know, you'll see that epic entrance of his character and, his, and the camera is like looking up at him as the music is playing and swelling. And it says, introducing Jim Kelly as Williams. And, you know, as they're getting ready to make their way to Hans Island and get on the boats and head out there. That musical sequence, after that few minutes of an opening really sets the stage for this whole film and just gets you, you know, into this whole movie. When you hear that music playing that dun, 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 dun. I'm doing a horrible job of imitating it, but I'm just trying to say that the music by Lalo Schifrin is absolutely brilliant. When you hear it, you're gonna be emotionally invested in this story and you cannot wait to see Bruce Lee, John Saxon, and Jim Kelly get to Hans Island and get involved in this martial arts tournament and figure out what's going on on this island. So just a great movie all the way around. I love the characters, I love the story. I love the humor of this movie. You see so many different aspects of, of Bruce Lee's you know, character. You see the serious side, you see obviously the great Kung Fu fighting. He choreographed all of the Kung Fu action in this movie. In terms of the martial arts action, he choreographed it, and you see his martial arts powers on full display in Enter the Dragon. I mean, the fight scenes are absolutely spectacular, so you see that. So you get martial arts action, you get this element of espionage, you get a little bit of a, of a revenge thriller aspect. You have a great villain in Han, great supporting characters with John Saxon and Jim Kelly and the whole cast and just a great setting on Han's Island and just the mystery and intrigue of what's going on on this island and just fantastic martial arts action with some great humor sprinkled in there. I mean, you see all of those aspects coming together beautifully along with this fantastic musical score and, and, and music from Lalo Schifrin that cues you through every scene. The music is just perfectly appropriate to each scene. And it's just a total package of a martial arts film. It's, there's a reason why people think that Enter the Dragon is Bruce Lee's greatest film. And if you are seeing this for the first time, you will understand probably, hopefully you'll understand 
why it's viewed as his greatest film. It is an absolute fantastic movie all the way around. It's the total package. Enter the Dragon starring Bruce Lee. As a fan of this film, I've seen this film so many times through the years growing up on cable TV broadcasts or just on regular television broadcasts, and it's never looked as good as it looks on this 4K Ultra HD. So that's a good segue to talk about the picture quality. How does Enter the Dragon on 4K look? How does this 4K disc look? And in a word, it looks marvelous. It looks wonderful. This is a beautiful 4K Ultra HD image. I think that Warner Brothers did a beautiful job with this 4K transfer and this 4K image. It looks really nice pretty much all the way around. Now there are a few scenes where it doesn't look tack sharp, it doesn't look as nice because of maybe the way that scene was focusing at that time or just the way the, maybe the source materials that they were working with may have had some rough spots. So there are some scenes where the picture is not going to look as good as it does for most of the runtime, but for the most part, 95% of the time, you are looking at a wonderful top-notch restoration of an early 1970s film with this restoration of Enter the Dragon and put on a 4K Ultra HD disc. So I, I think it looks absolutely wonderful. And when you compare it to the earlier Blu-ray editions that you see on this Criterion Collection set, which is really great by the way, this is on Blu-ray in this set and also in this wonderful new Arrow video set of 4K films, they have 4K discs of all of these five films with the exception of Enter the Dragon, which is on a, on a Blu-ray disc. When you compare the picture quality of this new 4K to those Blu-rays, you can see a pretty nice step up in picture quality with that resolution with the HDR10, really giving those colors a little bit more vibrancy and just that added resolution, resolving that grain ever the more nicer and just giving you a nicer, bolder, more confident image, more well put together image all the way around. Is it a massive upgrade over those Blu-rays? I wouldn't say it's a massive upgrade, but it is definitely an upgrade that you will notice when you see this 4K Ultra HD. You'll notice that you're getting a, a nicer picture overall. And there's just wonderful detail, contrast. There's beautiful depth in the image. And I would say that for 95% of the runtime of this film, you will see shots that range from very good to some shots being stunning, with the other 5% being not so great, you know, but 95% of the way, you're getting a super nice picture on this 4K Ultra HD disc. So from a, from a picture quality standpoint, I couldn't be happier with this disc from Warner Brothers. The other aspect that I really enjoyed was the audio side, which is another upgrade because you're getting Dolby Atmos audio. Now I don't have Atmos. I don't have an Atmos setup. Um, I have a, I have a 7.1 surround system. So in that case, I was hearing Dolby True HD 7.1. And I have to say that surround mix just really got me more enveloped into the film. I mean, I felt like I was really in this movie, especially with that opening musical sequence when they're making their way to Hans Island, you're like, okay, I'm ready to go, let's go, you know? So the music, I think, comes across really well with that surround mix, but you also get to appreciate some of those sounds with those other channels capturing some of the background sounds and just really appreciating a nice surround mix as part of that 7.1 Dolby True HD. I really appreciated that, which is a nice upgrade over the mono tracks that you get um, in this Criterion set, as well as on the Arrow Blu-ray. So the audio is a pretty nice upgrade over those Blu-ray editions. So when you couple the uptick in picture quality with that nice little uptick in audio quality, you're getting a very nice presentation on this 4K Ultra HD disc. So definitely keep that in mind. The other thing you'll wanna keep in mind, which is a little bit of a downer, is the fact that when you look on the back here, look at this area of special features, check that out. I'll, I'll, I'll give you uh, five minutes to read it. Actually, you won't need five minutes. You, need, you only need about five seconds because there's not much to look at in the area of special features. So I'm doing a horrible job of saying that this release here, although it looks great from a picture quality standpoint and an audio standpoint, the special features are leave a little bit to be desired. I mean, you do have the theatrical and special edition versions on here 
And I would let, let you know that when you select play special edition, it says here, play movie or play movie with introduction by Linda Lee Cadwell. I definitely recommend playing it with introduction by Linda Lee Cadwell because it's a two minute introduction from Linda Lee Cadwell, who is Bruce, Wee, Bruce Lee's widow. When he died in 1973, she takes two minutes and just introduces the movie. In that two minute span, she shares a lot about Bruce Lee the man and, and his love for cinema and the fact that even though he did not live to see this movie come, you know, come out, he tragically passed away at the age of 32 years old in July 1973, so 50 years ago last month, as the time I'm recording this video. Enter the Dragon came out in theaters in August of 1973, the month after he died. And so he did have a chance though to see the final version of the film and was very pleased with it. And when you see this movie, you're gonna understand why he was pleased with it because it is an absolute wonderful film. It is a superb martial arts film. And it's the film that basically cemented Bruce Lee as an international superstar, you know, posthumously. But in that, in that introduction from Linda Lee Cadwell, she does a really nice job in just a short time talking about her husband and just shedding more light on who Bruce Lee was as a person. So that's really good to see. It's just unfortunate that there's not more special features on here that you know give you some documentaries about the making of this film or just something that gives you more about Bruce Lee the man and you know the, the martial arts legend that he was. You do have a commentary on here by Paul Heller and Michael Allen, which is the commentary that's appeared on previous releases on Blu-ray, such as on this set here is the same commentary that you have on the Criterion set and I believe on the Arrow set as well. So that's not anything new. So that's really the disappointing aspect of this release is the lack of special features. Now, for me personally, I don't feel the sting of that as much because for me, I'm buying this just to get the 4K picture, to get the 4K disc. I already have other editions of Enter the Dragon where I have all those special features. So for me, I don't feel the sting of it as much. But where I really miss that, where, where I really think that this misses the boat is, I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan, so I'm happy to get this along with these other versions that I have here. But for someone who may not be a huge Bruce Lee fan, but you wanna get Enter the Dragon, but you don't really wanna buy other you know, box sets or anything like that, you just wanna have Enter the Dragon on 4K, this cool Bruce Lee film, it just would have been nice for you to get more of a total package by having at least a documentary, maybe a couple of interviews on here that more fleshed things out and make this a more complete edition. But as it stands, you get a slim special features, but you do get a knockout of a presentation from a video and audio standpoint. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, would I recommend this release from Warner Brothers? I would say that if you're a huge Bruce Lee fan, absolutely pick up Enter the Dragon on 4K Ultra HD. I would say if you're not as big of a Bruce Lee fan and you're looking to get a good martial arts film, you're not a huge Bruce Lee fan, but you're open to seeing a martial arts film like this, I would say definitely get it. But you might wanna wait for you know a sale. I would not spend more than the $23.99 that I spent on this. I would wait for it to maybe go down below $20 and then at that point, pull the trigger, you are getting an absolutely stunning presentation, both video and audio. You're just not getting much in the way of special features. You do get a commentary though. So with that, those are my thoughts on this wonderful release in terms of, you know, from a presentation standpoint. I would say for me, as a Bruce Lee fan and as a fan of this film, it was an absolute treat to see this film presented in this beautiful picture, you know, just thinking in, in my mind as the way it used to look in my mind, seeing it on those old broadcasts and seeing it look how it looks on this 4K disc, there's just no comparison. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty mind blowing to see so many of these films that we have loved over the years get such nice treatment from a presentation standpoint. And Enter the Dragon is one of the latest films uh, in that line. So. If you like Bruce Lee films, if you're into martial arts films, definitely consider checking out Enter the Dragon on 4K Ultra HD. But let me know in the comments section below, what do you think about Enter the Dragon? What do you think about Bruce Lee films in general? What are your favorite martial arts films? What are your favorite films 
starring Bruce Lee? What are your favorite films directed by Robert Klaus? Let me know all that goodness in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.